Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am an art channel. Um, I mostly do unboxings of art subscription boxes such as Scrawler Box, Upcrate and Artful. And for this week's video, I'm going to be unboxing the last of the Scrawler Blanks boxes from uh, Scrawler Box. Um, if you don't know Scrawler Box, they are a monthly art subscription box uh, where you get a selection of art supplies um, and you create some art using the Scrawler uh, challenge. And, and they actually do a Scrawler Blanks set, um, three, three separate boxes, um, the pencil case, the mug and the sketchbook. Um, now I've actually done um, two videos on two uh, of two of these boxes um, one quite a few months ago which was the pencil case uh, and this is what I created on in that video so if you do want to go check that out you can um, so this is what I created on the pencil case um, I did finish it off um, shortly after the video um, with this um, side as well. Um, I never uploaded on Instagram, um, which <laughs> I completely forgot about. Um, but I wanted to carry on the theme, uh, which is like ocean sea life, and this is what I created on the other side. Um, so that's one of the uh, videos. And then a few weeks ago, I got the opportunity to do some art on the Scrawler Blank mug. Um, and this is what I created. So if you wanted to go check out that video, you can. I will leave a link in the description below. Um, so yeah, those are the two boxes that I've done currently. And this is the last one. And this is the sketchbook. So we're going to check out what we've got exactly inside um, and, and, and go from there. So we have the Scrawler Blanks um, sheet of paper on top and this is the sketchbook. Um, I won't look at the other side because it actually gives you the what exactly you've got in the box. Um, obviously we know it's a sketchbook um, but other than that we don't know what else we have. Um, loads of Wrigley's. <laughs> okay, let's move that out of the way. And then uh, we've got the art supplies, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Let's just get everything out of the box. Okay. Anything else? That is it. Okay, let's move that. Okay, so let's just move that all to the side. So this is the sketchbook and I'll just go in and it is the Sea White of Brighton sketchbook. So it is the brand Sea White um, and it's all media acid free cartridge paper and it's 140 GSM and it's square. So it's 195 by 195 um, and uh, this indicates that it's pencil, ink and uh, paint. Um, and I believe that's 95 um, sheets or uh, pages, which is 190. Um, so yes, and it's all white um, from the back. And all actually, you can see at the back there, they've got the Scrawler Box logo there, which is quite nice to see. Um, yeah. And then the paper. It's not bad quality paper. I mean, you can kind of see my fingers through there. Um, but yeah, um, quite nice paper. And it'll be interesting to see how well it holds up with, especially the paint. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then we have the art supplies. So right off the bat we have the Scrawler sticker, um, I've had two of these, one from each of the other boxes um, so that you, you know that you've 
done the set um, just I didn't mention this before but this isn't a subscription this is something that you can buy separately on the scroller box website um, and I will leave a link in the description below um, if you wanted to get your own box um, they're very reasonable um, so we also have the school of blanks pencil with an eraser on the end um, just so you can sketch out your designs on the cover um, and then we have a uniball signum broad um, white gel pen um, you can never have too many of these I've got a few already and I've, they are very good um, so yeah that is pretty cool to see in there then we also have the uh, 0.6 Faber Castell Echo Eco Pigment um, ink pen, which is not bad, it's quite fine. There you go, focus. And yeah, 0 0.6 in black. Um, then we have a very slim eraser from Derwent, a white eraser. It's very handy. And with every box, um, every scroller box, regardless whether it's a scroller blanks box, you do get um, a sweet treat. Um, with the scroller blanks, uh, you get the white tic tacs to go with the theme of white <laughs> or blank. Um, and then we have the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Brush, and they're all, it looks like they're all brushes. And this is the color range. Uh, so we'll swatch these out in the book. Um, and create some kind of design and art on the cover of the sketchbook. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find because you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality.
place never to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings and my heart oh yeah yeah that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings and my heart oh yeah i'm going back to the table and all they say that i said that a stable friend of mine cause they know all this time that i was out my mind thinking you were the one that it was love to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings in my heart oh yeah yeah that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for your lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're missing
So we're at the end of the video and this is what I created on my sketchbook and I'm, I have to say I'm really really happy with this. Um, I will just start from the beginning and go through my whole process um, and then my review of the art materials and everything else um, in this box. Um, so I started off by swatching out the art materials included in the box on the back page. Um, the, the only reason why I do this is that if if the art material does bleed through then I'm just I'm not wasting any paper um, I am a bit of a neat freak so I don't like um, anything bleeding through the paper um, so it's a good way of just checking to see if your art material or medium does that um, so throughout the sketchbook this will be filled up with other art materials um, but yeah that's the main reason why I swatch out on the back um, so I really wanted to incorporate a bird into the front cover um, I wanted something that I quite like seeing or drawing um, and at the end of the day I want to be I want my sketchbook to be drawn to me so that I can keep using it um, so I, I really wanted to in include a bird um, hummingbirds are my go-to birds they're my, like my my favorite bird of all birds um, but I felt like I'd done that to death and I wanted to do a different type of bird I've not done before um, and I chose a raven so I got a reference off of Pinterest and I sketched out this bird here um, and albeit it's is grey, is not black, um, it was just a general idea of like composition and getting a, like just an idea really of what I want on the front cover. I did include a hummingbird, um, I drew one here um, and then they would have had their respective flowers so they'll be holding their respective flowers. Um, but I just didn't like the composition, it just wasn't working for me. Um, so I scrapped the hummingbird and kept the raven and then just incorporated some flowers, very rough flowers, they're not really the flowers I would draw, um, but it was just a general idea of what uh, I wanted on the front cover. As much as I really liked this um, drawing, I just felt it was a bit bland. Um, if this was all that's going to be on the front cover, it just didn't speak to me really. It didn't like scream at me. Um, so I looked at other references of ravens and um, there was a couple of flying ones. Um, so I was then thinking about clouds like being in the sky um, and I was trying to be a bit more abstract so I did this composition here and it wasn't my intention to do a whole coloured piece um, but it just I was quite relaxed and having fun and just enjoying the process and it just ended up being a whole page um, so um, this was my idea my second idea or technically my third and um, yeah I was just playing around with the clouds um, so I started off by blending these two colours um, and they don't blend they're not alcohol markers I don't know why I was trying to blend them when I knew they weren't alcohol markers 
uh, they're more like felt tips um, they're very good uh, pens but they just don't blend um, so I then scrapped that idea and just carried on with the pink then beige then uh, the white for the highlight of the cloud um, and then just repeat the process um, and then I wanted to get like lighter um, and then create more of a, a night sky um, the further up the page you go um, so that was my concept so a flying raven and then I, I, I kept going back to this and, and adding extra bits like stars and then I created like I was thinking maybe like a moon or a sun behind the head um, so I just used the Signa pen just to um, as a reference that's kind of like what I wanted like just to see what it was like um, I created some bubbles because I felt like the clouds were a bit bland um, they don't represent anything they were just like just an idea just to put on there um, and I quite like them to be honest um, and then I kind of thought about um, different colour combinations or different ways of doing the clouds um, because I, I literally just drew it and thought okay um, let's see if we can adapt this in any way um, so these were the compositions um, little thumbnails uh, of the clouds and um, just to see um, if I like them a different way um, but it actually turns out I ended up going with my original idea anyway um, the only thing I changed was instead of going uh, pink, beige, white, pink, beige, white, um, I just went pink, white, beige, white, pink, white, beige, beige white. Um, and it still looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I, um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I, I did um, draw a circle to go behind the head of the raven um, and I'm really glad I did that. So I'm glad um, I kind of checked to see if I like that because um, I do. Um, I was thinking make it into like a sun but as it's like more like the night sky I quite like the fact that it was a moon um, and then I just incorporated some stars and then some just lighter stars in the lighter colour of the blue. Um, initially I was just going to do the grey and black um, but it's obviously not a true uh, raven colour um, so I went over it with the dark blue um, and then I used the the Signa uh, white ball pen and uh, it didn't work the way uh, they normally work it was very blobby and thick and um, scratchy it was it wasn't very consistent um, so I was a bit disappointed with this particular pen because I know that Signa are normally really really good and I have a few of these already so I know that they work really well um, so I use this for highlights um, on the wings and that but it just didn't look good at all um, so I just went in with the lighter blue colour and I have to say it's like a happy accident I'm really really happy that I incorporated that it muted the white um, it gave it a bit of texture um, it still highlights there um, I just I love it I absolutely love how the bird came out just by putting the blue over the white Signa pen um, I'm really really happy with that um, I wouldn't say it's overly realistic but it's pretty um, it's not far off there so um, I'm really happy with that um, I was going to have a border um, around the uh, uh, the front cover um, th that was my initial I didn't want it to be like the this page uh, I did after I did this page I was like okay I want I definitely want a border so you'll see in the time lapse that I did actually draw out a border and I started to rub out um, the areas that I had already drawn and um, I realized that it cut into the bird's wing uh, wings um, and I just didn't like that I didn't like the fact that it was cutting off a bird um, and it would mean that I would have to redraw this and bring it down and um, and although the com this composition is a bit off it should be further down because you've got all of this here 
um, but I really just I didn't want to redraw this so I, I left it and just rubbed out the uh, border um, so I did it to the edge um, I did go over this this edge here so I just came in with the black pen just to clean it up um, so it's a little bit neater um, and I did use this to go around the clouds just to clean it up again um, and the bird um, there were areas that were a bit rough um, I then I also did this little shadow of a bird flying uh, and I have regrets um, I don't like it um, but unfortunately I can't go back and what's done is done um, so yeah I kind of wanted to show depth um, of like the clouds and stuff um, but it just doesn't work and it just looks a bit odd to be honest um, well that's my only uh, dislike of the front cover is just that bit um, I went over the highlights of the clouds with the Signa pen um, just uh, so they pop more because if you can tell um, this is the front the color of the front cover of the sketchbook um, and this is the Signa uh, pen and you can definitely tell that it this is a lot brighter uh, and a lot more it just pops more um, I didn't really want to color this in with the Signa pen I think it looks fine um, so yeah uh, so this is my sketchbook um, this held up really well the pages held up really well um, with this art medium and, and I was layering I was really trying to blend here and it didn't bleed through at all um, and they it didn't warp very much either um, the front cover did it I don't know if you can tell but it has actually um, warped a little bit um, but it's not that noticeable I think if I just put a few books on there and leave it overnight I think it will probably flatten out a bit um, but yeah um, overall the sketchbook has held up really well um, I will have to say though um, the colors uh, in the sketchbook so if you're applying a color um, it's a lot lighter on the paper than it is in the, on the front cover so it does come up darker on the front cover so just bear that in mind if you do get this box um, that it will come up a bit darker um, I also try to make sure that I um, didn't have streaks or patches or anything like that so I was layering um, the colors on top of each other which would make it darker anyway um, but um, overall I think the art materials go really well with this sketchbook um, I had a lot of fun uh, this was a lot of fun to to do and um, yeah I'm looking forward to filling this sketchbook uh, sketchbooks aren't really my thing normally um, I have quite a few sketchbooks but I never fill them um, I always like the, the idea of filling out a sketchbook and then I'll do a couple of pages and then they, they just sit there. Um, so this is a really good opportunity for me to actually fill this sketchbook. Um, it's so appealing uh, to me, like it draws me to this sketchbook to want to actually fill it. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned but I actually got this from, for Christmas. Um, I didn't buy it myself, I did get it as a Christmas present. Um, and it's only right that I do actually use this sketchbook and fill it out um, and it is my challenge to myself uh, for this year is to fill it um, and I would love to by the end of 2023 do a sketchbook uh, tour and show you um, all the art that I've created in this sketchbook um, from the f first page to the last page um, and just show you my progress um, from the beginning of this year to the end um, so this is my challenge for this year is to complete it um, I also would like to do um, one video a month with you guys um, like um, a sketch or draw with me paint with me whatever um, where we can create art together um, and we can fill uh, our sketchbooks together uh, so I actually did create uh, some prompts uh, and that on these uh, popsicle sticks in 
one of my glass this used to be my um paintbrush uh glass um but um i've decided to use this for um prompts and whatnot so we have just to give you an idea of what i've written on here so i've got amphibians like drawing amphibians uh three color challenge uh, we have what else have we got lino printing because I love lino printing um, alcohol markers watercolor paints acrylic paints um, there's there's loads uh, charcoal uh, ink um, there's a few prompts in there as well like a one hour ten minute and one minute challenge monochrome um, so yeah there's loads of ideas that I'd like to do um, for a video and I just thought this would be a good way to do it is just to pull one or two of these out um, every uh, video that I do with the sketchbook and we create art together um, so this is what I'm going to be doing this year I really want to push myself um, and and grow as an artist um, so yeah I, I hope you will uh, follow along with me I think that would be great if you did um, I would love it I will leave a list of everything that I've written written on these popsicle sticks but if there's any other ideas that you have or if, if there's anything you don't like and um, would like me to take out um, then do let me know in the comments down below um, but yeah I would really love your involvement um, with um, the sketchbook videos I think that would be a lot of fun um, so yeah this is the box overall I think these are really good value for money the pencil worked really nicely the rubber was amazing actually um, it rubbed out really well um, considering how dark this pencil was um, to, to sketch with um, it, it did an amazing job um overall yeah really happy with the box um the uh, school of blanks box was uh 39 pound on the scholar website um it is not a subscription it is a one-off payment um so you buy the box and then you can create whatever you like on the blank sketchbook and that and they do two others as well which is the mug um and the pencil case so you can really go mad um by creating and yeah i think overall i think it is really good value for money um you think 39 pounds is a lot of money for this box um the mug and the pencil case are different prices so i'm not entirely sure how much they are but i think this is the most expensive of the three boxes but you do get a sea white um sketchbook and uh, it is really good quality um, and it's gonna I, I'm gonna say it's gonna last me a good year um, so and you get all of these art supplies as well and I think yeah I think it is good value for money and I definitely recommend it I will leave a link in the description below if you did want to get your own bo uh, box um, and it'd be great um, if you let me know if you did and you want to follow along uh, with these sketchbook uh, videos um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think of my art as well. Um, what would you have created on a sketchbook? And um, yeah, please do give me a like, share and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.